Hey guys, so today we are going to be making a DIY serum for dark under eyes and dark lips. And also this DIY serum is also going to help prevent and get rid of those fine lines and wrinkles. So let's get started. Okay, so the first ingredient that I am going to be using is the rose hip oil. This oil is definitely a must have just because this is a great treatment for dark circles, fine lines, and also rose hip oil's main function is to diminish inflammation and and sterilization. It is also rich in vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, antioxidants, essential fatty acids, and linolenic acids that are needed to help repair the skin and treat wrinkles. And also this oil is very lightweight and it absorbs on the skin easily so you won't have that sticky feeling. And also this gives your skin a natural glowing look. And furthermore, rosehip oil is a great moisturizer for the skin and it is also used to treat psoriasis and eczema. Then the next one that we're going to be using is the sweet almond oil and this oil contains compounds like phytosterols, vitamin E, niacinamide, which are all very effective at lightening the skin. Sweet almond oil can also be used to lighten dark circles under the eye and even out your complexion, treat hyperpigmentation and lighten dark lips. And in addition, the phytosterols in sweet almond oil help stimulate collagen production. So it is said that using this oil under your eyes will also help with wrinkles and crow's feet. And the last oil that we are going to use is vitamin E. Its antioxidant capability serves to protect cell tissues from free radical damage, environmental pollutants, and from ultraviolet rays of the sun. Now, vitamin E capsules are capable in treating dark circles under the eyes. And furthermore, vitamin E is a potent antioxidant that combats free radicals from UV rays by neutralizing its oxidizing effects. It also helps repairs traumatized skin cells, which restores collagen, fades age spots, and heals scarring. Okay, so what I have here is a bottle container to store it. So I'm going to fill this up with all of the oil, so the proportion is totally up to you. But in here, I place about seven tablespoons of almond oil, and then about five tablespoons of rosehip oil, and then two gels of the vitamin E. And then I will shake the bottle to mix them all. And this is what it looks like. I actually broke the tube of the dropper, so that's why it looks like that now. But it's really great that when you have this, it's really good to have the dropper just for sanitary purposes. So anyway, it looks like this. So as I've said, this is not only great to use for your dark circles, but also to lighten your lips. And this is also an excellent makeup remover. Plus, this helps prevents and gets rid of wrinkles and fine lines. And it is an awesome remedy for dry and flaky skin. So I'm first applying this on my lips. Lips. And I really do like using this on my lips because not only does this help lighten your lips But also it helps them soft and supple and this is also great to use if you have very dry cracked lips Just because when I use this I don't wake up with cracking dry Sahara Desert lips And then I usually just gently apply it underneath my eye area just like that in a patting motion And then after that I also massage it around my eye area And by the way, I'm wearing a headband you guys because I have my lemon scalp exfoliator nesting on my head that I still have to wash up. So if you guys can see some pink Himalayan salts in my hair, that would be it. But anyway, this is usually the serum that I use on my eyes and my lips at night before I go to bed. So that is it, you guys. Also, one thing that I do like about this DIY is that it is very effective compared to the eye creams that I just bought. Pretty sure that there are um, eye creams out there that are really good, but right now I couldn't really find a good one. But this one, I find that when I put them at night in the morning, I don't really look oily, but my face looks very moisturized and glowing. You'd really know that the your face really soaked up or like my under eyes has really soaked up the oils. So I just didn't look oily or anything. You actually kind of look glowing in the morning because of it. And also when I wake up in the morning, when I touch my under eye area, I really feel that it's super soft and it's super moisturized. And also that is the thing. If you have very dry under eyes, that can really cause 
that's why we really need to be very careful when you deal with your under eyes. Sometimes what I do as well is I use the serum, pat that all over my eyes before I put on my makeup, especially on the days to where I notice that my skin is like really dry. I pat them around my eye area right here and as soon as I know that it's fully like the oils have really soaked in my skin, I would then put on my concealer and I notice that I actually find that there are no creasing underneath my eye area right here and my makeup just looks so smooth, especially around the eye area. I also to tell you guys, this serum can really last you for a really long time. You can actually put this all over your face as well. Just make sure that your face is not sensitive to the oils. I really do like this formulation. So that is it, you guys. I really hope that you all try this out. And I'm going to link all of the oils that I use in the description box down below if you all are interested in making this DIY. And also for me, rose hip oil and almond oil are such great investments for both your skin and for your hair. If you are suffering from dry dry scalp or psoriasis or eczema, I find that these oils are really great to apply on your scalp. And also if you guys have been a long time subscriber, you would all know how much I really like the sweet almond oil for softening the hair because I find that not only is it good to put on the skin but it's also great to put on the scalp as well if you're suffering from dry scalp or dandruff. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and if you want more DIYs please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you all want more um, face DIYs. So yeah that is it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!